After this video you will use speed ramps to highlight specific scenes like that. Put the product in the perfect spotlight to grab your audience attention or set focus on different sequences to foster a dramatic effect or simply create an awesome transition from one scene to another. How can you do this? With DaVinci Resolve and my help. Let's dive into it. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited to show you how to create those jaw-dropping speed ramps you just witnessed in the intro. We are diving into DaVinci Resolve for this tutorial and I will walk you through it step by step just like we did in my popular DaVinci Resolve beginners tutorial that you guys love. Ah, and as usual, if you enjoy what you see, simply like and subscribe, thanks. But before we start, let's talk about briefly what speed ramps are and why they are so meaningful in a lot of ways. Speed ramps are great for making scenes, product presentation, revealing shots or transitions more engaging. By smoothly changing the video speed, they highlight important moments, showcase products effectively, build anticipation in specific shots and create smooth transitions between scenes. Changing the speed makes things cinematic, not just visually, but with sound too. It adds excitement, grabbing the audience's attention both through what they see and hear, as you've already noticed in my intro. But enough of that, this shouldn't turn into a boring lecture. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. For that, let's start DaVinci Resolve and learn together how to use them properly in your videos. Let's go. All right, we are already in DaVinci Resolve and here we set up everything beforehand, before we start with the speed ramp tutorial. I will briefly show you my settings. So you can go here in file, project settings, and here you see we are going with Ultra HD, means 4K, and we have our timeline frame rate set to 30. I will work with this today, good. All right, what we do have now, I've already prepared some files, as I've already said in my intro. So I will drag and drop simply as usual those files selected to my media pool here. Here it asks me if I want to change the project's frame rate. No, I don't want. I've already set it to 30 frames per second and some of the clips are in a higher frame rate because in speed ramps slow motion plays an important role. If you want to know more about slow motion and frame rates, just check out my DaVinci Resolve tutorial I've already made and there you can find all the details you need. But let's go on with this tutorial. So I've already imported all the files. As you can see, as I said, the first one I showed you already in the intro where I throw my card and catch it afterwards is shot in, let me check, I need the clip attributes here. It's shot in 60 frames per second. This project is in 30 frames per second. I can slow it down half the speed. So that's very good and you will see how this works. All right, the other ones, I think those are 30 frames per second and also this product presentation um, video is in 50 frames per second. So the most important thing is that your videos have at least 30 frames per second. Everything below that will result in a jerky video. So this is very important. But let's start with the first one. I've already chosen this one. This is my video I've prepared for my intro shot. I think we can work with this part. So in this part I start with this uh, cut trick and after this video you will use speed ramps to highlight specific scenes like that. So for a speed ramp in general I click on my scene, right click and then go to read time controls. There are new arrows popping up here, blue arrows, and there is 100%. This is the speed of this clip. So in that case, I could slow it down because I know it's double the frame rate. I can slow it down to 50%. I can go to 50%. What does it do? It slows the clip down, but also the audio. Put the product in the perfect spotlight to grab. All right, this sounds like I'm drunk, so... I will not go with that. 
So I change the speed again to 100% so it should be normal again. Grab your audience attention or set focus. All right, good. So this is exactly the point where I start to throw the card yeah. and here I want to set the speed point. For that I will click here on this tiny arrow on the right side of the 100%. It opens a new menu item and I can set at speed point. Now I added a speed point here. And then I will check the scene again, continue. And this is the last part. So it is a very short one because this is just throwing scene. And here it should be slower again. So I click here again and add another speed point. So what can we do here? In our case, we can simply just click again here and change the speed of this part to 50%. What happens now? It's like that. Put the product in. It looks not that bad, to be honest, because it has been slowed down it already a little like bit. That. But it is not smooth enough. What should we do in that case? In that case, I can click again on the whole video on the right mouse button I go to retime curve it opens a new let me reduce this a little bit it opens a new menu here with a curve so I can see here my retime speed what's very important here is that you select here via this tiny arrow that only read time speed is selected. You can deselect read time frame. So we only go with read time speed. This is the only menu item what you need here in the speed ramp. So you have this read time speed selected, then you can go back to your clip. And here you see already those read time speed lines. As you can see, when Seems I activate like it, just goes from one scene to another immediately also the speed only change here we can smooth this up uh, when we click on this little curve here and then we click on those white dots we click on these white dots then we click on this one and it automatically sets the line to a smooth curve we can do the same with the second one Let's do it. And now, as you can see, I can play it back. And in that case, specific scenes like that. The transition Put the product is smoother than before. Okay, so what we can do here, I think for our speed ramps, you can also modify them to set them even more smoother. So you can enlarge them. Okay, and then you can play it it's like that. Put okay. the product now it's not this hard of a transition it's really smooth yeah and let's go on with the next one for my next example i have prepared a product video of, of my ulanzi u mic let's see the clip attributes are on 50 means i can also slow it down a little bit and fasten it up then so let me see how we can create a speed ramp out of this footage and let's check it out in my case i don't think i need any sound from the original video so i reduce my sound level to zero and let's see how it looks like in speed okay the focus shifts from one item to another i think we can use this exactly to add also a dramatic product presentation effect to it for that, we will start here at the beginning. And here you can see the brand is the brand name is Sharp. So we go again on the clip. Right click, we go to read time controls. The first step. So for my video here, I will set here. I click on the right side on my percentage value then I go to add speed point because I really want to speed the first part up so I set them to 800% so you can go again to this percentage value you can go to change speed and click on 800% this means that the beginning will be very fast 
this is a little bit jerky because uh, it's just a preview but in the end um, I just want to highlight this scene okay maybe one more thing I want to mention here when you add the speed point you have two more slider options you have the ones on the top and ones of the bottom of this new line where you set the speed point when you move the upper one you can move it to for example in our case to the left side and then you can see it automatically adds more percentage so it makes the video before that line even faster so we can go with i don't know 1200 percent i keep it like this and the second one the one below when you move them to the side you just check the scene of the video where do you want to stop so this means let me see so here it turns around in the picture and here it is perfectly readable and it is in focus the wireless microphone here in the foreground maybe because we want to do a very smooth transition I move this part a little bit back yeah I think this works fine so this is very fast and then I want to slow it down for exactly this part okay I set here my next speed point and I want to reduce the speed of this part to 75% all right then let's see how this looks like I go here then it's and then it's faster again but again I will set here a speed point and this one should be also very fast change speed to 400% and this speed ramp looks like this so it starts here very fast then it goes smoothly in slow motion then it speeds up again then it is smooth again showing this part and then here we add another speed point and also this part i can see this one and then we can speed up this part very quickly again starting on this face and here add another speed point and then set this part also to i would say 400 percent okay that's enough so i just need it till here and let's see how this looks like when i open my speed ramp curve because as i already explained this just jumps from one scene to another and changes speed what we really want to achieve is a smooth transition so i go on read time curve and i can go here and you can see already the differences in the speed so the first speed is very fast then it slows down it's a little bit fast it slows down it's faster and then it slows down again okay for that i will check it out again i will go to just read time speed the rest is not important i will activate this line you can see already the speed because of the difference of the height of those lines here i have 400 here I have 1200 approximately and here again 400 but to get a smooth transition I will click on the first one and I will click on this curve icon and this will be smoother then I will do the same on the second one I think we can set this also a little no here yes and the next one so it's always the same procedure here again and here the last point all right so so now you have a sequence here with a lot of um, speed points speed ramps and in the end it should look like very cool the only issue we have is that you cannot see it now so I try to cr create out of this clip now generate optimized media so maybe if one hint if you 
try to put a lot of effects here or use a lot of fusion clips transitions and it will not play back very smoothly you have always the option to go on right click on the clip the one which causes trouble <laughs> and you can go to generate optimized media i will do this now it will take a little bit so in our case it says 10 seconds and after that it has generated another video just for a preview that you can play back it smoothly so it's done now press the play button and now okay this looks quite good but anyways um, as i experienced here i think the beginning that it is very fast looks great then it's slower this effect is i think not enough and this one can also be speed up so i go here on the 400 percent and set this to 800 percent and also in this part i want to really have this on a very very high speed so i change the, change the speed also to 800 so let's see how does this look now i go to the beginning i play it here okay i think this looks good but i also want to speed this up even more so i use this slider at the top as i already said and go down to i don't know 2000 percent so what i do now here is to test it again you see it here very fast a little bit and here should it, it should be very fast yeah good this looks perfect so i think my speed ramp itself looks great but i will get rid of this return curve view and for my sequences i want to add sound so i think this sounds great for the beginning sound so with a slight intro here let's hear how it sounds I added here a part of a soundtrack that it is not that boring and when you now have a look on it let's check it out how the end product could look like I think for this sequence it looks very good, very smooth and for a product presentation it is really cool. You can use it in every video I would say. Alright, this is the second way how you can use a speed drum. Let's continue with the third one. So the last one is to show some sequences and then, then to do a smooth transition from one scene to another. So in my case I have some scenes from an aquarium and from a zoo then I will also deactivate the sound on them because they are not so interesting and here I just filmed some jellyfish and I already filmed it that way that I can add a nice speed ramp to it. In that case I will start here and I will end the way I move the camera to the left side here. This is very important, let me explain. When you want to do a smooth transition, the movement of the scene of the first video should go directly into the movement of the second th scene, even though it's not the same content. In our case the first video are jellyfish just moving around and the second one is a scene from bats in a room where they're flying around but here i also did a movement to the left side here yeah as you can see and i will just use this mid in the middle of the movement that i can do a smooth transition when you speed it up in the end you will see that this transition is very smooth and you do not even recognize that this is a transition but let's do it okay start with the first clip so here i want to add also some speed ramps here because i moved from one jellyfish to another 
but I really want to highlight those scenes and to move even quicker from one fish to the another fish. Here it starts. This means I click on this clip on with the right bu mouse button, I go to read time controls and I set my first speed point here 100%, I click on it and set my first speed point. Then I will check when the movement is over here, I set the second speed point. Okay, then here I put the focus on these jellyfish and now I move again away. So here there will be my next speed point to this scene and then I will move to the left side yeah, to create my transition. So here I start with my moving. Okay, so I put here my another speed point. Good. Just in this video, I have here now my scenes. The first scene is all right. I focus on my first jellyfish. Then I want to go to the next one very quickly. So I change my speed here by clicking again on this 100%. I change my speed to 400 by now. Okay, then I have my scene where I see my jellyfish here. Okay, this is maybe also a little bit boring, so I change my speed to 200%. And then I have a smooth transition to this jellyfish. I go here with 400%. Then I have my last scene. I think we can set, we can set, no, we, we, we focus on this and then we switch to the next one. And here I go again with 800. So the next step I will do, you guessed it, I think already we did it twice. I will click on my clip, go to read time curve. I will just enlarge this one. And then I will check that only the read time speed is here selected. Perfect. I will go to my lines. I see already which speed it has. So here 100, here 400. And I will go to my points here. I will click on that one that it will be smoother. The same here. The same on that. I will move this even. I will put this even more curvy here. This one, yeah, I think this should work fine. All right, and then I go to my last scene and this one should be also very smooth here. And yeah, I think this should work. So let's have a look on it here. Okay, before I use here any sound, I will take care of my next clip. This means I have here my room full of bats flying around. And I also use this clip. I put him exactly to the other one and I click on the right mouse button. I go to read time controls. I think this should work. So I move it here to the left side. Okay. So I will set it here also and I mark it with a speed point and I will set this also to 800. I will click on this clip. I will go to read time curve again and then I will do the same what I did before. I go to my, let me enlarge it, read time speed here. I do not need the read time frame. I go to read time speed. I go to my first speed point I've defined and then I click on this icon, click again and then I should be able to add this read time curve. So I will put it now together and now you can see I have this clip, I go to the left side and here again. So I think I will add a speed point here and I will speed this up as well to 800%. As usual, I click here, uh, the other one, I also want to have here a more smooth transition. And now it looks like this. Let's start here. Again, let's put some effects down there. So first of all, I think we can go with 
some kind of underwater sounds because this is very boring because it should be part of the video and I also use those woof, whoosh sounds but I think this first one is suits better yeah I think this is a cool one together with sound and the end result looks like this all right guys this is the third and last example how to create speed ramps and i think that's it for our today's tutorial all right thanks for joining me today on this speed ramp adventure i hope you found these tips on creating epic speed ramps helpful if you enjoyed the content don't forget to hit the like button share it with your fellow filmmakers and subscribe to my channel for more filmmaking reviews tutorials and simply awesome content Oh, and don't miss out any future videos, just hit that little bell down there somewhere to stay updated. And speaking of more content, check out these videos right here somewhere, they will pop up for more camera related videos from me. If you have any questions, suggestions for future videos or simply want to share your own speed ramp experiences, drop them in the comments below. Stay tuned, happy editing and until next time.